I mentioned in the last video that overclocking the 2200G resulted to a noticeable FPS gain. Will that be the same for the other games? Let's check it out. Hello everyone and welcome back to Junkyard Summit. Today we will be doing a quick comparison chart on AMD's Ryzen 2200G. We will be doing a quick stock clocks comparison to the overclock ones. A few notes before we go to our charts. First, these tests will only cover results from BIOS overclocking and not through Ryzen Masters. Secondly, my BIOS overclocking was not that great. I was able to achieve 3.85 GHz for my CPU clock. As for the memory, I was able to run it at XMP at 2933 MHz. Sadly, GPU overclocking was not that high. I was only able to achieve a 1340 MHz core clock, up from the 1100 MHz base clock of it. I'm seeing people reaching higher GPU overclocks as high as around, I think, 1600 MHz, but most of them are through the Ryzen Master software. I might try the Ryzen Master next time, but for now, we'll stick to the bias overclocking. Lastly, this video will not cover any overclocking tutorial, and I might do it on a separate video, but if you have any questions regarding overclocking, about my setup, about my voltages, I'll post it down in the description page, and if you have any other comments or questions, feel free to comment it down below. Test setup is the same with my last video. I'll be using the 2200G on my ASRock AB350M motherboard, running on 16GB of G-Skills Trident Z RGB RAM. And my APU is gonna be cooled by Deepcool's Icewind Pro CPU cooler. And with everything set aside, let's go to the comparison charts. Going back to our percentage results, we could see the trend that we're getting an average of 10% increase in most games except for some few games. What is more surprising though is the increase in 1% lows. With the increase of the 1% lows, we could see a smoother gameplay for most games even if the average FPS remains the same. I also noticed that there are some micro stutters in some games, especially in Counter-Strike, but most of these were eliminated when once we overclock the CPU. At the same time, the extra performance that we got from overclocking our APU made the 2200G more appealing to budget gamers and to new entry ones. Also with our overclocking, it made the 2200G a perfect match for our 1080p esports game as well as running older AAA titles such as GTA V, but it still lacks the horsepower that it needs to run newer AAA titles such as Final Fantasy XV and Evil Within 2. And lastly, as I stated in my previous video, the 2200G is a big step forward in AMD's APU lineup and overclocking it made it even better. And if you're a Ryzen APU user, do yourself a favor and try overclocking it, especially with the 2200G. 
If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more 2200G videos. Thank you and see you in the next video.